Why is ranked so hard? Help me push. The randoms are terrible. I think this is echoed throughout any ranked or competitive mode in a game, but for me, it seems particularly loud in Brawl Stars. And so for that reason, let's explore what is driving this. But first, this video is sponsored by absolutely nobody, and thanks for watching. So I started a new second account to play with some of my mates that have recently started playing Brawl Stars, and I realized that rank opens up to you at a mere 1,000 trophies. I actually couldn't believe it was that low, honestly. Now you do have to have at least three brawlers to level nine to play in bronze, and my free to play account doesn't have that at the moment, but I have to assume that this must increase to like nine plus brawlers or something, because once you get to diamond, there are six bands, so theoretically you could have all of your free brawlers banned and not be able to play but someone confirmed this for me in the comments though because i'm not 100 sure so why is this important well anyone struggling up to diamond will likely encounter these new players that are very low in trophy level with weak brawlers no gadgets star powers gears or a hypercharge if there's one available for that brawler making your matches harder and requiring you to carry more this leads me to my second issue with ranked you see, level 9 is the barrier to entry, but there's no requirement for you to have anything equipped with that brawler. And I think we can all agree that for the majority of brawlers, a star power, a gadget, two gears and a hypercharge, if there's one available for that brawler, is much stronger and versatile than the same level 9 brawler without all of this. And so even if the correct brawler is picked for that map mode and modifier, your team is essentially at a disadvantage. But as much as I think the requirement should be a fully kitted out brawler, the reality is that FOMO and frustration probably leads to you buying coins to get these brawlers kitted out and to be on an even playing field. Now, you would think that this issue goes away as you climb higher, but I've played in Mythic every rank season and with legendary players that still select brawlers without having everything equipped. And it can be quite frustrating to see that that's before you know that they have the wrong star power and gadget equipped or they just might not have the better alternatives unlocked let's keep that one in mind let's take a side step from the upgrades because let's assume you do have a fully equipped level 11 brawler raring to go you then have the issue of was your brawler banned is this brawler the right one for the map mode and modifier the enemy has counted your baller, but they are still great for this map should you carry on and go ahead and pick it. But wait, hang on a minute, when I saw Keros' tier list that I see, it was an F tier brawler. So many variables at play. Damn, I'm running out of time. Let's panic pick and you might have just been the reason your team lost that game. You see, it's easy to point out when your teammates have let you down, and I'm sure there are times when they do. But I think about League of Legends being a heavy team game and sometimes you have to accept you can't control what other people do and all you can do is try and be and do the best that you can to increase your chance of winning overall because if this mindset increases your win rate by just 5% well you're closer than you was before to climbing assuming that that percentage is of course over 50% what we need to do is take a step back and realize this and recognize that there are so many factors at play that you need to be aware of to mitigate the losses and increase your chances of success. Let me play out a scenario of what we have to do to give us the best chance from the start of Brawl Stars, the moment we turn on Brawl Stars to the second that we finish that match and we hopefully win it. Are we in a quiet area? Is the connection good? Am I expecting any distractions? Is my phone screen clean? Have I put myself in aeroplane mode or do not disturb to avoid the pop-ups in game? Is my phone on charge or have enough charge so that I don't get battery pop-ups? Have I looked at the map when the game has started? Do I know what brawlers are good for this map? Mode and modifier. Do I know what are the best star powers, gadgets and gears for this game? Am I first pick and selected the harder to counter champion? Am I last pick and know what champions counter the enemy team and help my team? Am I playing in the correct lane in the game? Am I making the right choices in the game? Did I keep attacking the enemy in gen grab even though I was holding 8 gems and should be retreating? Do I keep attacking rather than waiting for my health to recover and now I've been eliminated? And the list goes on and on. So by no means is this extensive, but just an example of so many variables and factors from the basics 
to the more advanced, it's easy to open a door, but it takes more effort to know which way it opens, how to make it, how to fit it, where did the materials come from, how much does it cost, etc. You hopefully get my point. So, okay, Sully, good chat, but how do I apply all this info to actually get better at the game? Well, my advice, try to upgrade a wide variety of brawlers to cover your grounds. Metas move all the time, so I would avoid investing in broken champions that are probably going to get nerfed. Go for the A or B tier that still works but may require a bit more effort from you to master. Don't upgrade all assassins and then have no tanks, healers, throwers, etc. on hand in case you need them for any given scenario. Research who are the best brawlers for any map mode modifier and then learn the counters. All easier said than done. I'm stuck at Mythic, I feel your pain and I'm continuing to apply this advice that I'm giving to you. And with a little bit of luck, determination and knowledge, I believe that I can get to legendary and maybe even masters. And I believe that you can too. Look, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if I missed anything that you think is important. And if you want to see more, or have any ideas of what I can cover, you know where the comment section is. Let me know about it. Best of luck in Brawl Stars, gang. It's been your boy, Sully, and I'm out.